The 10th largest state in the United States, Oregon exemplifies the beauty and wildness of America's Pacific Northwest. While there are many cultural venues in Oregon worth exploring, it's the state's diverse landscapes that draw many travelers to this corner of the country. From rugged shorelines and thick verdant forests to towering volcanic mountains and steep river gorges, Oregon's natural attractions are simply breathtaking. Here's a look at the best places to visit in Oregon. Number 10. Columbia River Gorge Just a few miles east from Portland lies the vast U-shaped corridor known as the Columbia River Gorge. Formed by cataclysmic Ice Age floods, the miles-wide valley stretches for more than 70 miles along the Columbia River on Oregon's northern border. Built in the early 1900s, the historic Columbia River Highway takes visitors past dozens of waterfalls tumbling down the valley's steep walls. Whether visiting in the autumn when the surrounding forests are draped in fall color, or during the spring when wildflowers burst into bloom, the Columbia River Gorge offers spectacular vistas in every season. Number 9. Bend Paradise for nature lovers, Bend really does have it all when it comes to the great outdoors. With the Cascade Mountains nearby, you can be skiing one moment and rock climbing or mountain biking the next, before heading off to explore its lakes and waterways. Here you can kayak, go fly fishing, or even paddleboard if the mood takes you. With around 300 days of sunshine every year, you're almost guaranteed to have an amazing time. Number 8. Yahats. The small town of Yahats is situated at the foot of the 800-foot-high Cape Perpetua on the northern Oregon coast. The tiny village is a popular destination for travelers who want to enjoy all of the unspoiled beauty that Oregon's coastline offers, minus the crowds. Rocky tidal pools and small pocket beaches lie just outside the city's boundaries, and visitors can often spot gray whales swimming close to shore in the spring. Number 7. Hell's Canyon Recreational Area Located near the small town of Joseph in northeast Oregon, the Hell's Canyon Recreational Area outranks the Grand Canyon when it comes to depth. Parts of the canyon surrounding the Snake River are as deep as 8,000 feet. With few paved roads leading into the area, most visitors opt to enter the canyon by jet boat, although some trails are accessible with four-wheel drive vehicles. Touring the canyon on a whitewater raft is a popular activity. Overnight horseback trips into the canyon are available as well.
Number 6. Mount Hood The tallest peak in Oregon, Mount Hood is much more than just a stunning backdrop for the city of Portland 60 miles away. It's a travel destination that attracts visitors all year long. Five downhill ski areas and miles of cross-country trails keep the slopes of Mount Hood packed during the winter, and summer snowfall attracts visitors to Mount Hood for off-season skiing as well. For experienced mountaineers, climbing to the summit of Mount Hood is another popular activity. The historic Timberland Lodge, which was used for exterior shots in the movie The Shining, offers great views of the Southern Cascades. Number 5. Cascade Lakes Scenic Byway One of the best ways to experience the beauty and splendor of Oregon's Cascade Mountains is by touring the Cascade Lakes Scenic Byway. The 66-mile route winds along the river valleys, up mountains, and past scenic lakes, offering visitors picturesque vistas and an abundance of recreational opportunities along the way. The route begins in the city of Bend, climbing into the forests of Ponderosa Pine towards Mount Bachelor. Views of lakes formed by ancient lava flows quickly come into view, each offering activities like swimming, fishing, or boating. The route ends at the winter resort community of Sun River. Number 4. Astoria the historic city of Astoria lies just a few miles southwest of the spot where explorers Lewis and Clark spent the winter of 1806 before returning to the east. Five years later, John Jacob Astor founded Astoria, making it the first United States settlement on the west coast. Situated at the mouth of the Columbia River, the city's backdrop is the scenic astoria Megler Bridge, the country's longest continuous truss bridge. The region's unique Victorian architecture is best represented by the multicolored Flavelle House built during the 1880s. <laughs> Number 3. Portland Oregon's largest city straddles the Willamette River near the point where it meets the mighty Columbia. With Mount Hood in the distance and the Pacific Ocean just a short drive away, Portland is surrounded by natural beauty, and it's clear by the sheer number of parks and gardens how much the city's inhabitants value the outdoor life. The city's ever-changing dining, music, and art scenes are worth experiencing, and visits to the city's quirky museums are fun too. But for many visitors, it's venues like Forest Park and the International Rose Garden that make the City of Roses one of the best places to visit in Oregon. Number 2. Crater Lake National Park The most popular natural attraction in southern Oregon, Crater Lake is what remains of a volcanic eruption that occurred on Mount Mazama 7,700 years ago. With a depth of nearly 2,000 feet, it's the deepest lake in the United States, and its tranquil sapphire blue waters are a sight to behold. With 90 miles of trails winding through the national park, the area is a hiker's paradise. The 33-mile-long Rim Drive offers less adventurous visitors many scenic overlooks. A guided boat tour of the lake and its central island is a must.
Number one, Cannon Beach. Named after the cannon that washed ashore after a shipwreck, Cannon Beach is one of the most popular of the seaside resorts that stretch along Oregon's 300-mile-long coast. Located around 80 miles to the west of Portland, the once rustic artist community has grown into an upscale resort filled with restaurants, boutique shops, and art galleries. In-town attractions include the Cannon Beach Historic Center, which features an authentic reproduction of a Native American longhouse. The most striking feature about the beach itself is the 235-foot-high Haystack Rock, the largest of the monolithic rocks that dot the sandy shoreline and provide a nesting ground for seabirds. To the north of Cannon Beach is Ecola State Park, which offers a multitude of hiking trails of all levels and some of the most stunning Oregon coast views anywhere.